Destiny. Every now and then, people always ask me how I got into radio. Um, well, it's kind of a long story, but the cliff notes are I worked really hard to where I'm at now, and it sounds so cliche, but really, um, I feel like you can apply that to any career to make that happen. But let me just take you back a little bit. Um, in high school, there was this thing at my high school called Griffin News. It was like our own little news station. Um, it actually had just started when I was a junior, so we were kind of the guinea pigs that year, just trying to figure out what to do, and I really enjoyed being a part of this news station. And then by my senior year, they gave me my own segment. It was called Sisney with Sidewalk Talk. And I'd go around campus every single week and I'd ask a new question to all, all the students on campus. And it could be anything from like, what's the best way to propose to somebody for, to prom? Or what's, uh, where do you see yourself in 10 years? Things like that. And then I went to college and I thought I was gonna become a news anchor. And I just decided to change my mind my freshman year of college. And I switched to art. And I actually ended up graduating from San Diego State University with an art degree with an emphasis in multimedia. Um, so rewind a little bit, because while I was still going to college, at 19 years old, I started working at a cinnamon roll shop. And at that cinnamon roll shop, the owner, his name was Butch, the cinnamon roll shop was called Homies, and it was like pretty much on campus at San Diego State. Um, it's no longer there, but he does have a cinnamon roll shop that's called Homies at the MGM in Vegas. Um, it may or may not still be there. Anyways, he was awesome and I worked as like essentially the, the breakfast cook. Um, I made the bacon and so no, he did like cinnamon rolls and he also served breakfast. So I cooked sausage, bacon, eggs, toast, everything. And there's this thing, I think this is really needs to go. So I was essentially the cook and I worked there for um, probably almost a year and during that year, I got to know some of his coworkers from the radio station. So Butch was Butch the Baker on Channel 933 in San Diego, and he had a weekend show that he would do. So I met, like actually met Jesse Lozano, who at the time was named Boy Toy Jesse, and a few of the people that were on the air at that radio station, and they would just come in and get cinnamon rolls or breakfast or whatever. And eventually he had a close-up shop and he had to lay all of us off. So here I was without a job, and he's the one that suggested that I go and intern for this radio station. I was 19 years old. I've never stepped foot into a radio station. I never honestly even considered radio because I always thought I wanted to do some sort of TV, and then I kind of just gave up on that dream, and I was like, oh, I'll just be an artist. <laughs> so 19 years old, I stepped foot into this radio station for the very first time, and my life changed from that moment. As soon as I saw a studio and I saw how a show was broadcasted and how the radio was broadcasted, I was hooked. And I think I'm gonna give you three tips of ways that I think for me helped my career and you could probably apply them to yours. Uh, tip number one, never say no. Always say yes. If someone asks you to do something, even if you don't know how to do it, you say yes, you figure it out as you go. That's what I was basically for like those first few years getting started and getting my foot in the door of radio. I said yes to everything. I worked anywhere from the studio to overnight shifts to um, random stuff where they needed me to go across town at whatever hour and drop something off. Like I just said yes to everything and I learned, you know, I just learned little by little here of how all the different departments worked. Another thing that I would apply w would be honesty and it sounds really simple and cliche almost, but honesty is gonna go a really long way. You don't wanna put your foot in your mouth at the very beginning of your career by being a liar and trying to cover stuff up. So I am big on honesty and they're gonna make mistakes. That's how you learn, that's how you grow. So own up to it. If you make a mistake, own up to it. Apologize, move on. No one's gonna remember it tomorrow, but they will remember that you lied and that's never gonna go away. Um, so honesty is really, really big. So here I was in San Diego. I put a good like maybe three years there. I actually worked for a country station because the top 40 station that I was uh, doing promotions for and board hopping at, uh, they, they weren't hiring. They weren't hiring any part-timers. So the country station right down the hall was and I was on US 95.7 Real American Country. Uh, that's got, that was my first shot on the air in radio. I worked at that station until, um, until I left San Diego actually. And then um, I ended up eventually getting on the top 40 station. I did both stations at once. And then before you knew it, somebody hit up my program director in San Diego and said, there's a position in LA. Do you have a female that you would consider auditioning? So my boss calls me. It's a Friday afternoon. 
and I'm about to get on a flight to go to Vegas with my friends. I'm 22 years old and he calls me up and says, Sisney, can you have an air check on my desk by Monday morning for KISS FM? My jaw dropped and I couldn't believe it and I was like, oh my gosh, yes, I can. So I had something kind of already put together. Um, it's essentially a demo tape and I wanted to add some more pieces to it. So I go to Vegas, I have a terrible time. I couldn't have fun in Vegas that whole weekend because I was so stressed out about coming back that Sunday and doing my Sunday shift in San Diego to get some bits that I can put in this demo tape. Did that, worked on it all night. Shout out to Frankie V because he's the one that helped me with that demo tape. We were up to like 3 a.m. putting it together. Monday morning, sent it to KISS FM in Los Angeles and didn't hear anything for like a month. And I was just like, all right, well, at least I can say that I auditioned for KISS FM. Like, it is what it is. And then all of a sudden, my phone rings and it's um, Lisa Marie who <laughs> says that our program director at KISS FM, John Ivey, and Julie Pilot, who was the music director at the time, wanted to have a meeting with me. And so that's where it all kind of started. I started doing weekends at KISS. I eventually got middays. I did that for almost a decade before I got into mornings with Ryan. Um, and all of that was just, I think, by having a really good work ethic, being honest, saying yes to things, even if you're scared, or even if you don't know how to do it, you just learn as you go. And that would be my third tip, is to always be a student. Never think that once you get to a certain place in your career, then you're done. Like if anything, you just have to work that much harder to get to the next step. So always be a student, always continue to learn and grow. And those are just some of my tips for you. Comment below with your stories. Let me know um, if any of those tips that I just mentioned, maybe you've applied to your career and if they worked for you.